All right, so we're here at uh, Heron Forbes Future Vision. I'm standing next to a special guest of ours, one of the unsung heroes of the supercar circus, uh, Danny Sims, who is uh, an employee at Brad Jones Racing, and he is here to help talk to us about some of the control parts of the supercars. Danny, thanks so much for coming all the way up from Albury, mate. Um, what is it that you do at Brad Jones? So I'm the production manager there at Brad Jones Racing, so I control the manufacturing facility. We have four CNC machines and a laser cutter, four full-time machinists and three fabricators, so um, we're making parts full-time all day, every day, and I, I get to control that process. Awesome. And how did you get into this line of work, mate? I assume that there's some sort of university degree involved, you don't just rope people in off the streets? So I'm actually a mechanical engineer, um, four-year degree. I actually started off doing the, I was a data engineer at BGR, travelling around for, for four years, and I moved across to the manufacturing side. Nice. And so no more race weekends away, so you're not in New Zealand this weekend, right? So you'll be up on the, or no doubt watching on the couch or something like that. Um, this is a this control part, for, so it's not just the supercar parts you build for your own cars, which I assume there's a lot of, but also for the whole category. So this is a, a billet wheel nut. Can you please talk to me a little bit about how this comes about, what machines you use, and then some of the other parts that you use on the supercars? Absolutely. So this starts as a, as a round build of aluminium, 7000 series. Um, we put it in our DN Solutions Lynx lathe. Yeah. Um, we do all the turning features and then we'll take it over to our mill to finish off um, these features here. Um, so essentially, threads onto a spindle, wheel goes in here, and the wheel go the socket um, goes on here. Awesome. And in terms of the amount of parts that you build for the cars, I know there's stacks of them that you use these turning centers for and the lathes for. So do you know roughly how many parts that you would use or you would create in-house? So in total, um, including from everything from the big parts to little parts, laser cut, machine, everything is about 630 just for that one car, yeah. Wow, 630 parts for your race car that you can put on all of these, so that's pretty cool. We've obviously got only one here for today, but maybe we'll have a bit of a look at uh, how you do that. Sounds good. So I thought I'd talk a bit about the process we use to make these. So we've spun this up on the lathe now, and we're here over here at the 5-axis mill uh, to finish this off. So we've got here some round features with a thread in the middle we're now chucking in here to do the um the teeth for the socket to engage and the little retention um slots we see here so we get the cad model from supercars the 3d cad model we'll load it into our software we actually use mastercam and um, we use that software to create all the tool paths we'll simulate the the um the tool parts in the machine to make sure that nothing will clash that everyone will work as we want we'll export the code and then we'll run in the machine and you get what you have here Danny, thank you again for coming past uh, our city store and attending our Future Vision Expo. It's been great. Um, we've learned a little bit about our wheel nuts and our supercars. A um, couple of quick questions if I can. How many of these are you going to make this year? Uh, probably about close to 500. So close to 400 for us and then maybe some up for other teams. Yep. What does it cost? Uh, about $120 per. So. Can I have one? No. <laughs> if I put one on my car, will I win Bathurst? I refuse to make any guarantees. Um, what's your favourite part of uh, the engineering process at BJR, mate? Uh, I like the variety. I don't think anyone else would agree, but I actually like the white deadlines and the fast pace. It, it, it's sort of, you know, if you work pretty hard and you get something done by the end of the week, it's going to be on the car by the end. Nice race car life. I love it. Thank you so much again, mate. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, guys. Cheers.